Well, I have to start by saying the schutzpah of Nancy Pelosi mm. coming on TV and saying, the children, the children, sure, just the Ukrainian ones? We just forget about the 13,000 ones in Gaza. Um, Sami Shukri, the Egyptian foreign minister, he said, for us, it's a red line if Palestinians are pushed uh, across the Rafa border into Egypt. Oh, yeah, it's not just a matter of opinion, but I also just want to come back to this idea that, um, you know, uh, Netanyahu somehow can sort of say if the hostages aren't released by Ramadan. I mean, there was a deal on the table. Hamas had offered a deal that was being brokered in Cairo, you know, by the Qataris of all the hostages being released, starting with women and children, in exchange for the release of all the Palestinian hostages, that are 6,000 of whom from the West Bank and a large number also now from Gaza, including many children. And of course, you will know there was a UN report out just today highlighting the sexual abuse of women in detention which follows another report highlighting the abuse of children in detention, including sexual abuse of children in detention. So yes, the priority should absolutely be on the return of hostages, but the problem is that there's no partner for peace in Israel. We have in Israel currently an extremist cabinet led by Netanyahu, but of course he only remains in power through the support of a far-right extremist cabinet that essentially is pushing the policies that we're seeing today. And Netanyahu cannot relinquish on those policies because if he does, he will lose his position of power and he will end up in prison.